what is a natural looking facelift versus just say a, a facelift? Well, the truth of the matter is everyone has seen someone whose face just looks pulled and unnatural. Uh, maybe it's, a, it's an actor who's in his 70s and he's trying to look like he's 40. I mean, that'll just never work under any circumstances. But there are times where the sideburn is uh, elevated in a female patient, irreparable damage, I think, that it needs to be covered up. It's never going to look natural. So there are techniques with the design of the incision that just take time and detail work that preserve a woman's sideburn so it's not lifted up above her ear. Mm -hmm. Similarly, behind the hairline, we see patients who have a, a triangle of hairless skin because of the nature of the incision. It was made into the hairline, it lifted the hairless neck skin up, and you get a, a zigzag uh, of the hairline, preventing women from wearing their hair up ever again. So these things can be avoided. Also, not pulling the skin too tightly, recognizing that we need to also lift the deeper structures, the platysma muscle, something that's called the SMAS or the SMAS in the cheek. I personally also like to lift and resuspend the cheek pad. So we're not depending just on tension in the skin to give a good result. We're using the deeper structures. We also supplement with fat grafts to create a, a fresher looking skin, add volume where we need it, not, necess not necessarily just depending upon pulling the skin itself. Do, do you feel that um, the surgeries that have been done on, on those people who you refer to as, as being maybe, maybe having gone too far, um, is that the patient's fault? Is it the doctor's fault? Where, why, why, why do it that way versus the natural, natural way? Is it, is it just a, um, a limitation of artistic skill or is it just that we've learned a lot since the first uh, surgeries? Well, we have, and it, I think it's a combination of the two. I think sometimes patients have unrealistic expectations. They think that if they keep having a facelift every five or seven years, uh, they can do it indefinitely and still look good. And that may be the case uh, with people like maybe Joan Rivers, where there's a lot of lighting and a lot of makeup, and mm -hmm. although she looks strange for somebody her age, it's presentable. I, I don't know how she would look in person, frankly, but at least on camera, I think she looks pretty decently. So... Sometimes it's technique, but sometimes it's the patient pushing to have another and then another and then another and not realizing. And maybe the doctor being at fault also for simply not informing the patient that at a certain point it stops looking fresh and natural and starts to look more plastic. Yeah, 